Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sean Rusalt and welcome to my Delphi Pro Gaming series. Um, so I'm not wearing a t-shirt again because it's hot. I live in South, South Africa and because I'm too lazy to go get this shirt. So enjoy the naked coder for today again. Um, so today we're going to be learning how to install and use third party components. As you can see here, I have some third party components such as SynEdit, uh, Orpheus, um, Essentials, Nexus DB, Sappy, Chromium. I have the Delphi 10.1 Berlin Starter Edition, so it also didn't come with the two web browser, so I installed these internet controls here. So there are basically three ways um, on how to install third party components. The first way I recommend, okay, let's first name them. Um, it is, it is, no, no, okay, the first way is through the Get It Package Manager. So you go to tools and now it's lagging. Hello. Not responding. Great. Okay, basically you go to the go to tools in the main menu and then you select get it package manager as you can see here. And so I, so I don't have internet right now, so I can't search for it, but you will be able to view my installed packages. Let's just wait for it. Okay, so the get it package package manager is the way I recommend to go because it's safe and it's approved approved by Barcadero. So these are some of, are some of the packages I have installed. Um, if you go to free, you'll see there's plenty of this. The Get It Package Manager is new to Delphi. I'm not sure in which version it was um, introduced, but this is the way to do it. I recommend it. Um, yes, you can also install SynEdit from this. Um, but yeah. We're going to be using sun sun edit, sun edit in future in future videos. Because this is the first way through the, the first way is through the get it package manager. Second way is go to component and import component. And here you can import a type library of or an ActiveX control or a .NET assembly. Um, so basically um, these these are controls and libraries that are installed through um, third parties, such as let's for instance go to ActiveX and here you can find the Adobe Acrobat browser control so this um, when you install a, a Adobe Acrobat reader then they installed this component package which allows you to basically view PDFs in Delphi so for instance let's go and install something what can we install Windows Media Player okay let's install Windows Media Player we choose it here Let's make a folder for it. I'll call it um, WMP. Next, install the new package. Uh, okay, so I seem to already have it. Let's delete this one I have, already have. Okay, so now I'm going to be reinstalling it. It's called WMP. I say save. I give it a description of. I can't save it. Even though it's a new package, it seems. Let's see, WMP, save. Ah, let's just get a new name, okay? Uh, Windows Media Player, save, okay? So basically what we did was we um, selected the Windows Media Player. We gave it a palette name, I called it WMP. Let's call it Windows, nah, WMP, next into new package and yes now it's compiling and I actually have the WMP components here for instance now you can add the T media player component here and you can basically use the Windows Media Player in your app and it's quite simple we'll also make a video about this somewhere in, in the future now, now that we have the component installed okay so let's learn how to um, install components manually. So now you've, you've learned um, two ways so far through the Get It Package Manager and through importing components. Okay, so let's exit Delphi. So I have da I've downloaded uh, SynEdit components uh, with my documents. I usually um, have my components here in the Embarcadero folder. Okay, so Sun Edit Master. Here is the Sun Edit, Sun Edit I have downloaded. Let's go to Source. Not, not Source, sorry. Packages. Choose your package. 
I'm going to choose choosing this one. Then start with the Sin Edit R. So I've already um, installed this, so I won't actually like install it again. But yeah, it's pretty simple. So I'll just explain how. You can click basically first. You have to compile this one. So now it's compiling. It's compiled. I don't think it'll be, but yes, okay. So you just compile it. And then you go to the Sin Edit D. And you compile it, then install it. Okay, so now it, it, is, it is installed actually. Okay, so now you'll have to uh, add the source, select the source copy, and in Embarcadero, you are ever you are in Embarcadero folder, mine studio 18 imports, and you just have to copy all of the source, which I've already done. This is this is so that I can actually use it. As you can see, there's all the sin edit. There's the Windows Media Player one. Mm, what else? There's the um, Sappy Speech Library. There's Chromium. So yes, now if you go to Delphi, File New, VCL Forms, then you'll find here is the new sin edit components, and they can add that. As you can see, sin edit is for syntax highlighting. For instance, in my app, not Delphi. Okay. For instance, in my app, Delphi Programming Helper, uh, if you go to the color code editor section, load the file, some of this file, this is basically uh, the sin edit component, or sin memo actually, I think. Don't really remember, but this is it. Okay. Just exit this. Guys, that's, that was basically it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show you how to um, install third party components. So, if this video helped in any way, Please make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe and share.